Hello, my name is Joe Williams. I'm Campaigns and Communications Officer for the Fire Brigade Union. I'm joined by Matt Rack, the General Secretary. Matt, four strikes so far, how have they gone? The, the strikes have been magnificent and I think the first thing I would want to say to members is to congratulate them for the solidarity and unity they've shown. It has been a, a real demonstration of, uh, of how strong, determined and united FBU members are around the country. We've had fantastic feedback from picket lines. I think members commenting of uh, how determined other members are, but also the, the level of support they've had from the public has been a real shot in the arm for the campaign. Okay, fantastic. Of course, the strikes were legitimised by an original ballot of members over that, but there's now another one. Can you talk us through that? Yeah, well, the Executive Council has now decided to ballot for action shorter strike, and that, that means that uh, it's all other forms of industrial action that are not strike action. So that might be overtime bans, it might be withdrawals of goodwill, it might be uh, refusing to do additional duties. Uh, the whole range of action that can be covered by that ballot uh, and that's to provide additional campaign tools for the for the campaign on pensions uh, and that ballot is now underway and we would urge people to vote and we'd urge people to vote yes. There's been some talk of uh, concerns among firefighters that they may be penalised for taking part in additional forms of industrial action. Is that warranted at all? The Executive Council is very well aware that in some fire services there are very uh, draconian policies uh, around partial performance which means that if people don't perform the full range of duties they face docking of pay. The Executive Council is very aware of those policies uh, and the aim is not to penalise our members, the aim is to maximise the pressure on employers and the government uh, and to minimise any losses and difficulties for our members. So we're very alive to that, we'll be uh, taking account of that in any action that is called and we're also very clear that we're going to discuss with local fire, uh, local brigade committees about what action they're calling for to take account of, of local views uh, when action is called. Um, strikes so far haven't included uh, control members at all, but it seems that this ballot will do. What's the thinking there? Well, I think the, the primarily it's two, two reasons. First of all, to protect control members. We're aware that uh, in relation to the strike action that has been undertaken, in some fire services, unfortunately, there's been a lot of pressure applied to control members to do additional duties, coming on extra days, for example, uh, to provide additional so-called resilience. Uh, our members uh, are very unhappy about that, uh, and it's to protect those. So we may give, be able to give collective advice or instructions or calls to members as a result of that ballot. And secondly, there are activities that uh, a whole range of members undertake, voluntary activities, they might be uh, community engagement work, youth engagement, arson prevention type of work and so on. Uh, if the ballot is uh, successful as we expect it to be, firefighter members may be, with, may be withdrawing from that type of work. We wouldn't want other members to do the work that our members, uh, firefighter members have, have withdrawn from. So it's again about maintaining that unity. It's not about penalising anyone. It's not about trying to increase financial hardship on anyone. It's about giving us other tools in the box for our campaign. Okay, and again, strike hasn't taken place so far north of the border in Scotland, uh, but this ballot does include those guys too. Uh, what's the thinking there? Yet the, uh, the, there has been progress in Scotland, undoubtedly, on some elements of the trade dispute, uh, but both the, the Scottish Government, the employer in Scotland, and our, our own assessments of it recognises very clearly that the uh, progress that has been made does not address all the areas of concern. So, take one obvious one uh, on contributions. Uh, we're facing a further year of contribution increases. Uh, that will include Scotland. The Scottish Government have not moved on that. There is a debate to de about the degree to which they could move, but they haven't moved on that. Clearly our members in Scotland are angry about the uh, contribution increases. It is threatening to price firefighters out of the pension scheme, uh, and that's why we've called action all across England, or, sorry, the ballot is all across England, Wales and Scotland. Okay. Right, thanks very much.